looks like we have a good crowd out there this morning, and we're glad you're here. If you're visiting with us, we're certainly glad you've come to worship with us today at Poplar Grove Baptist Church. Let me share with you a couple of things. Uh, our Lottie Moon Christmas offering for foreign missions. Uh, you have an opportunity to give to that. Uh, between now and the last of the month, our WMU ladies have set our goal for $2,500. And it gives us an opportunity to get Bibles and, and uh, literature in the hands of people who, who don't know about Jesus. And so what an opportunity it is for this church to be a, a part of that. We still have several magazines, uh, uh, The Open Windows and uh, Journey and Stand Firm and some of those magazines. If you haven't picked up yours yet this month, uh, you're welcome to do that after the service today. You can just come in. They're out there in the, uh, in the window. Also, our busy hands ladies uh, will be collecting your Christmas cards, and they'll sort them out for you. And then after the service, they'll, uh, uh, you can drive by the pavilion and pick up uh, any of the cards that's for you. So uh, <clears throat> let me encourage you to do that, and we appreciate uh, the busy hands ministry, these ladies and all that they do. And, and uh, <clears throat> Kathy would like to meet with, a, with that ministry right after church today. Uh, underneath the uh, pavilion just for a, just for a, uh, a short, uh, a short brief meeting uh, to share something with them. There'll be no service tonight. It's supposed to really, really get cold as soon as uh, the partly sunny uh, sun goes down this afternoon. It'll be way down in the, in the 30s, and so that's, that's pretty cold. But it's not too bad out there this morning, so we've been blessed again, and I'm so grateful that we can gather here and worship. But we're glad you're here today. We're glad you've come to be a part uh, of our time together today. All right. Our worship leader, Chad Weatherill, would you come and lead us in song, please?
Thank you. That should put you in the Christmas spirit if you're not already. That's what Christmas is all about, just what he sung about. Thank you, Chad, and thank you to our musicians and everyone involved. We've got sound people up there. We've got uh, video people and, and everybody, and it just takes a lot, and uh, we do this so we can uh, send this out this afternoon through the Internet, and there'll be many people watching our service, uh, and so we're certainly thankful for that. Let's go to the Lord in prayer, and uh, whatever need that you have today, I'm sure that uh, many of you have many needs, perhaps. Uh, uh, some of you have at least one need. You know, we all deal with things, and uh, so whatever your need is in these moments as we go to the Lord in prayer, I want us to uh, uh, take your need, plus take the needs of these that I share uh, with you today. Ashley Adams, remember Miss Ashley, if you would. Uh, Brian Barton, continue to remember him. He's doing better. I remember uh, Jody and Vernon uh, as well. And uh, Shirley Cornett, a new name added to our prayer ministry. Valma Campbell, remember Miss Valma if you would. Uh, Arbel Chadwell certainly uh, needs our prayers, and so uh, uh, remember him when you pray. Emily and Amanda Bowman, uh, Phyllis Duggar, continue to lift her up. Miss Valma Durham, what a lovely lady. Uh, remember her in your prayers. Alvin Evans, some of you know Alvin. <laughs> Alvin will be going, uh, or he is, at uh, Duke, uh, Duke University uh, <clears throat> and uh, the hospital there, and he will be having surgery in the morning. So when you pray in the morning, say a special prayer for Alvin Evans, a, a real good friend of mine, and some of you out there today, and uh, remember, uh, remember Alvin and his family as he goes through a very serious uh, uh, surgery. Uh, Tommy Ferris, uh, Robert Five Colt, this is uh, Flint's dad up in West Virginia. Remember him in your prayers. Uh, Brenda Gaddis, continue to lift her up. Uh, and a young lady by the name of Robin uh, has cancer. God knows who she is, and uh, remember that lady in your prayers. Dorothy Goad, remember Dorothy Goad as you pray. Uh, Veda Gross. Uh, David Helton, David is back here in Corbin now in rehab, and let's pray for a, a recovery, full recovery for him. Louise and Charles uh, Hensley, uh, Dave Hyatt, remember Dave Hyatt if you would when you pray, De uh, Gene Hill, uh, Wayne Hobbs, uh, and Janice, Janice lost her brother last week, and uh, remember uh, Janice and Wayne both when you pray. Brenda Inman, uh, this is uh, Carol Linhart's daughter out in California. Uh, remember her as well. Andrew Johnson, uh, Carrie Wells, uh, needs our prayers. Uh, Gina Lake is doing good now. This is Bob Bowman's sister, and we're certainly glad of that. Uh, Jean Mahoney, uh, continue to remember Miss, uh, Miss Jean, if you would, in your prayers. Uh, Pat Mays, uh, uh, also, and uh, Tanya Manholland. Uh, Brenda Norval, remember Brenda and uh, Mark Norval both uh, when you pray. Paul Norval, continue to lift him up. Uh, Tara Morgan, uh, this is Tanya Sawyer's sister, will be having surgery Tuesday morning, so remember her uh, as well. Kevin Pace, uh, many of you know Kevin. He's down in Florida for a few days, but it's wound up. It's going to be a lot longer. 
He's got some serious health issues that just evidently developed pretty quickly. And uh, so he's down there, uh, I think at the Mayo Clinic. And so uh, uh, let's remember him if they'll get his, uh, it's a very rare thing that he has. And let's pray they can get that under control. I uh, spoke with Sharon Perry last night. Remember Sharon and Avery both in your prayers. Billy Reeder, uh, Brian Reeder, uh, uh, getting infusions up in Lexington. And remember Brian and his family as they're there with him. Ron Reeves, continue to lift up Ron and Miss Norma uh, in your prayers. Uh, Carol Temple, uh, remember Miss Carol. Remember Mia as well. Mia has got some things that things that she's dealing with. Uh, Rick Russell, uh, Carrie Terry. Uh, Charles Turner, uh, Johnny Ferris. Johnny is in the local hospital, not doing good. Uh, some of you know Johnny, so remember him if you would uh, uh, when you pray. Also, I got a call yesterday morning uh, from Linda Jackson. Uh, Roger Jackson is in the hospital in Lexington, and uh, I spoke with him later, and he was pretty upbeat and thought everything would be okay. But then after a series of tests, uh, everything is not okay. And Roger's dealing with some serious uh, health issues here, and we certainly need to pray for him. Roger and Linda have been members of this church now probably about a year. Uh, just a great couple, and he is a, a great guy. I've known him for a, a lot of years. And so uh, remember Roger. Let's pray that they can meet his need, and we just pray for in advance for full healing there for him. Uh, so we've got a lot of people that uh, on our prayer list, still folks who have lost loved ones, uh, that... Uh, that certainly uh, need to be remembered in, uh, in, in difficult days. That, that's a, it's a hard time with much less than to deal with a lot of health issues as well. So let's take these needs to the Lord as we pray and uh, whatever need that you have, uh, just lift up to him right now. Uh, God is greater than your need, you know. Sometimes, you know, we feel like we're facing a mountain and we don't have the strength to, uh, to climb that mountain. Well, we got a God who gives us strength and a God who's greater than that mountain or anything else that we deal with, any health issue or anything. And, and uh, he's still in the healing business. And so we need to bring all of our prayers, our thoughts to him. So let's pray. Father, we thank you for this time of worship today. We just thank you, first of all, that, that, we, can, that we can gather here on these grounds this morning. Thank you for all these people who've come this way today and for all the folks who will be watching this afternoon uh, uh, through the internet, watching our services, and <clears throat> we're just praying they'll be blessed, Lord, because of their, of their time of worship with us. Father, what a joy it is to come and just lift up Jesus. Our world just needs Jesus so bad, and sadly, in our world today, there are many who have turned their backs upon the God in heaven. And so, Father, there's a consequence to that. There's a price to be paid, and so our world is in a mess right now, our whole world, not just our nation, but our whole world is just upside down. And God, we need you. We need your inter intervention. So we're just, we just come corporately as a, as a church today, lifting up all these needs into your care. You know every need on our prayer ministry. You know the needs in this community. A lot of names I did not mention there, and you know every name and every need. And, and so we just come corporately, collectively together to lift up these needs to you. So, Father, we pray for our world, we pray for our nation, we pray for this community that we live in, and the folks who live within this community, Father, uh, whose names we have, we lift them up to you with our health needs, and, and uh, knowing that you're sufficient, uh, uh, you're supreme, you're a sovereign God, you never change, and so we know just as you were in the healing business of the time you walked on this earth, you're in the healing business today. So thank you for these who are sitting in their cars today and worshiping with us here uh, on our grounds, on our property at Poplar Grove. What a joy it is to, uh, to worship with uh, brothers and sisters in Christ and to, and to lift up our prayers and just storm heaven with our prayers. That's what you want us to do. So I lift up all their needs, whatever they're dealing with, whatever it might be, you know and they know. And so, Father, I just pray that they'll get a peace about all this, a sense of peace that only you can give. And I pray this in Christ's name. Amen.
Jesus was born, wore his crown of thorns, and he gave it all up to save all of us. Circle of love. Circle of love. Circle of love. 